Hi, right, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to install N7 ET Lite for Wolfenstein Enemy Territory. So now you're going to need your file somewhere where you can extract it to, like the desktop. And you're going to right click and select Extract here and drag the file somewhere to where you can work with it. Next you're going to need to open the file and then you'll need to locate the readme file just for a second just to skim through it and have an idea of what it's like tells you which mods it works on if it's detected by punkbuster or not and it also tells you the menu key which is alt plus x at the same time and if that does not work you need to do alt f1 and if those two menu keys do not work then you have a problem and you need to fix it so after you take a few moments to read through the readme file we're going to locate the main part of this which is the open gl 32 dll which is highlighted right now see with this dll what you need to do is place it into the enemy territory folder on your computer so right now that's what we're going to do we're going to go open that so we're going to start computer you're going to open your local c disk drive you're going to go to the program files and then after you open that you're going to go scroll down to Wolfenstein enemy territory open it and just leave this folder open as you can see I already have a uh, the DLL copied into my folder but I'm gonna show you how to do that now so you're gonna right click it select copy and you're gonna go back and paste it into your folder so then now there it is some people like taking the whole folder itself and placing it in there to have the sounds of the menu and things like that so you can do that if you would like some people say it's better some people say it's don't it, it's not but I don't see a noticeable difference so now we're going to go into the game and see if the menu works and some of its features so now as we go into Wolfenstein Enemy Territory game we're gonna open VC Old School US just for this demonstration and as we wait for the server to load the, the menu key is Alt and X at the same time so we're gonna open this and as you can see the menu does work for me right now and I'll explain some of the things it has later so right now we're gonna do a quick fly through just to find a demonstration of how this works and here's a player with Cham and as we fly through more we're going to move into a more populated area as you can see Axis is wearing red and the Alanis is wearing yellow and this bot has some cool features to it. It has removals where it removes trees and um, leaves and stuff like that, barbed wire. It has hit sounds that sometimes, well I've never had them work. It has aim at team, aim key, aim shoulder view, the aim height. You can change the cham color to different things that you like. So this is just a basic demonstration. So now we go back to the desktop where the where I have the folder open. And that was just bas the basic demonstration of how to do that. It's a very good tool when you want to dual bond it with, I'd say, a proc or a GL hook. And if you have problems with this not working, we have technical support on vcclan.org website with bot fixes and other technical support threads, which may help you with this. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Then I'm VC Nas, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.